Hi. 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 My name's John. I'm the in-house product designer for Red Paddle Co. I'm here today to talk to you about our exciting new project, the Titan Pump. But first, let's take a look at our current pump. The Easy Pump HP. Single chamber, air comes out the downstroke. It's great for getting your board up to a good pressure, but we believe it can be done better. I introduce the Titan Pump. Much faster and far more efficient. Now let's talk about why. First, we start with the design. The ergonomics are critical to getting a good pumping action. By designing the feet so they're slightly offset, this allows you to stand back slightly from the pump. Now, creating a much wider handle makes it far more comfortable to use body weight to push air into the board. This, combined with a nice, slightly fatter grip, gives you a nice comfortable grip whilst pumping. OK, let's take a look at the actual cylinders that make up the pump. These are the vital aspects of the pump that allow the user to get air into the board quickly. First of all, let's take a look at the HP. The HP pump has a, a long, thin cylinder with a plunger that has a small surface area. This allows the user to get an adequate amount of air into the board and fairly easily. Secondly, we have the Titan pump. The Titan has one slightly fatter cylinder and then a thinner cylinder, identical to the HP pump. When the innovative valve system allows the pump to combine both cylinders, the user can get a very large amount of air. In fact, 4.71 litres of air goes into the board compared to the 2.09 litres of air per stroke with the HP. This brings me on to our innovative gearing system. With the Titan, we essentially have big gear and a little gear. The small red cap on the back of the Titan pump, when released, isolates the single chamber. Essentially now working off the original HP pump chamber. This allows the user to reach a high pressure very quickly. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of how the pump works. First of all, let's take it out of the back. From that you can see, despite the bigger design, it still comfortably fits in the bag, roll up inside a board. So, you connect the hose in front of the valve, making sure the valve is closed on the board as well when you're pumping air in. So it's important that when you start pumping the board, the red stopper is positioned in the hole. We do this by pushing in and twist. Now what this does, this combines the two chambers together. So what I'm going to do now is pump up the board as far as I can using both chambers. When it gets to a point where it becomes too hard, I then remove the red stopper and just pump alone with the single pressure uh, cylinder. The offset feet on the pump allow you to stand slightly back with the feet in an angled position. So as you're pumping down, the handle does not connect with your knees. So let's continue to pump using both cylinders. Now, if I briefly pause here, you can see how quickly that board inflated. The sheer amount of volume being put in by both cylinders is fantastic. Let's keep going. Now, as I reach 8 psi, it's becoming slightly too hard to put air in both cylinders. So what I'm going to do is just switch over and use a single high pressure by removing the red stopper. Now I'll continue to pump until I reach 18 psi. 
It's also important that we put the red stopper on the back of the handle in the position here. This stops it flapping around when you're paddling. Pumping, sorry. There it is. I've reached 18 psi fast and efficiently. Thanks for watching.